is Coach Coldar coming to you again from North Carolina and uh, welcome to the 92 Mesh Group channel. Today I thought I would talk a little bit about install. Um, you know, we're all getting close to fall camp now and so people are sending questions in, you know, Coach, how do you install this if I don't have enough time to do that? Or, you know, my head coach isn't all in on, on air raid yet so he only wants to put bits and pieces in. Um, you know, how can we do that? Well, what I thought I would do is go through what I did the other day at practice. Um, I put in three plays in about 15 minutes. And, you know, and the first one was the, was the fast screen. You know, everybody knows I love fast screen. And, and so let me show you how I did it. And, and, and so you can kind of understand kind of the thought process. So, you know, we kind of do it in a group session. The linemen are over there doing their thing, you know, how they always want to, you know, kind of go off on their own, which that's fine too. And, 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 the, and sometimes the running backs aren't here, you know, the running back, in this day, the running backs were actually down there and they were working on, you know, path and mesh and all this other stuff. Um, but what I talk about when I put in the fast screen is I talk about the, you know, the non-negotiables. And, and the first non-negotiable is flat for five. It, it is, the, uh, it is the, the most important thing to me for that is the, the guy who's the inside cat has to go flat for five steps. And, and so I, that's the first thing I do is I teach that to the wise. I'm like, listen, you know, if I ask him, you know, what is your job? If he doesn't say flat for five, I'm going to chew him a new one. Okay, I don't want to hear I got the corner or I got the number one guy from the sideline. Their rule is go flat for five and then destroy anything that doesn't look like them. And, and that's, what, that's what I expect to hear. And, and that's one of the things I can tell you as you coach kids. Teach them their response. And then if they don't give you the response exactly, they're not sure. Okay, don't, don't make them think about it. They should know. And, and here's the reason why you say you want to do that. It's so in the game, when he hears fast screen, he's going to go flat for five, flat for five. He's not thinking, okay, yo, I got to go get this dude. No, no. You just want him to think flat for five so he can play fast. And so that's the first thing I do. So I teach Y's and H's, you know, flat for five. And then if the running back is there, you know, the first thing we talk about is flash fake in the inside zone because, you know, I like to do that. And then we, we don't really get into, to, you know, introducing the, the lead part on that. The second thing we do is we start talking about the screen itself. And, and the one thing that I teach uh, the outside receivers is this, is that, you know, you have to uh, understand the alignment of the, of the corner. And my rule is this, if the corner is plus five, then we're going to go now. Then we're just going to take one step and bounce and then get in and get out. If, if he is five or in, then we're going to retrace. And so we'll teach, we'll teach the little three-step retrace where he's going to take an outside release like it's a more route. He's going to retrace back down the line, get in and get out. And get in and get out. And, and one of the keys to that, and I'll turn around so you can see it, is as they come back down the line, the one thing that I teach them is to lean into the catch. Lean into the catch. Because I tell the quarterback, throw the ball at the back of his head. And see, that's the other thing you get by going flat for five. You're teaching the quarterback, you know, you're kind of giving the quarterback a target. You know, throw this at the back of his head because as he comes down, he's coming across. And if he leans into that ball, you know, with a good noose in his fingertips, when he catches it, it's going to take him back outside. And then we go, we start talking about team four, which is, uh, you know, if you've seen our, any of our screen stuff in the Total Air Raid Clinic, uh, system clinics, then you'll know what we talk about when we talk about team four. So that's how we put in the screen. And so we get a couple of reps of that on both sides, and then we get a drink, and then we come back, and then we start talking about some quick game stuff. And so the next two plays that I put in, and I, and I don't need the line again, you know, it's just a force of habit, is... Um, is stick and corner. I put in stick and corner that day. And so the first thing that I do is I talk about, I, I talk to Y, and I say, I say to him, your job is to make this guy wrong. I want you to go four yards and sit. Okay, four yards and sit. But his job is to make that guy wrong. And so here's what I want him to do. If the guy is inside, I want him to attack his inside shoulder. 
Okay, I want him to attack his inside shoulder. Now, some of y'all are thinking to yourself, now wait a minute, if I do that, that gives him a, that's fine. Okay, that's fine. I, I don't, I'm not trying to, to block him with this particular thing. I need him to be wrong. Okay, because my quarterback is going to react to what he sees. He, remember, we read grass, we don't read people. And so if I attack his inside shoulder and run to four, he's either going to, he's probably going to sit at me because he thinks I'm releasing inside. Okay? And so that's fine. And that's going to give me a free release to my back. Now what I tell backs, and here's what you got to understand with this, we throw swings, not shoots. And the reason why we throw swings is I want as much difference between defenders and offensive players as possible in space. When we catch the ball, I want to catch that thing, be able to get north and south, and be able to make a move. And the more distance we have, the easier it is for me to make a move. I, and it's also, to me, is an easier throw. So what I tell the backs is open up and you're running flat for three. One, two, three. And then you're going you're gonna to widen until you see the ball. Okay? And then so as we tell, what we tell the quarterback is you got one, two, three. Just like on the progression if we talked about stick. And all I tell him is, is that if he beats him off the line of scrimmage, give it to him. You know, if, if we get him off the line of scrimmage in that route, and, and we got to win, if we're even, you know, we're even, we're leaving, then you can give it to him. If not, you're going straight to the swing. And once again, what we're doing is we're turning our hips, and we're looking at that swing. And that's why it's important to run at this guy's inside shoulder, because I want him to settle in here. I want this corner to turn his hips. And that's all I tell Z. Hey, listen, outside release, make him turn his hips. If that guy turns his hips, we win. Okay? And we'll throw the ball to the back. And remember, the point of the air raid is to get the ball to people who can score in space. All right? And so we've created these three bubbles. And uh, one, two, three. And we've told him to go. Now, obviously, if this guy is lined up outside, what we want to do now is attack his outside shoulder. Okay, that means he's going to sit inside. Okay, and as you can see, I'm trying to force the ball to the back here. Because eventually, after that guy catches the ball a couple of times, they're going to run straight to that back, and that's going to give me my possession catch on third down or first down because they're so worried about that back catching the football. So Y's job is to make him wrong. And then, of course, on the back side, we have Joker. But here's what we do. We do not teach or, or work backside routes. We work concepts. So over here, we'll run stick. And we'll rep that side of stick with these guys. We'll run backside quick or joker to both sides and practice that at the same time. Okay, so I, I want H and X to get front side concepts and backside concepts. Now, if we were in routes on air, then you know we would have a guy throwing backside routes and a guy throwing front side routes, and it'd be a different story. But as far as teaching is concerned, that's all we're doing. We're teaching the front side of the concept, and you know these guys, you know, make him wrong. Same thing. Now, once that's in, we have talked about these bubbles. Now we talk about corner. Okay, we talk about corner because corner is 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 why it is Stick's cousin. And so I tell R, R corner to you is stick. Okay, corner to you is stick. And then Z and Y are now going to switch spots. So Y has got to get to Z's hole, so he's going to take the 10-yard corner. And then Z, because now he becomes number three. All right, you got one, two, and basically corner it could be a tag. What I tell him is the outside release lazy and then get inside and sit or run through. Three. Once the quarterback understands stick, he can throw a corner. It's very simple. It's the same progression. It's high swing stick. Except the stick now is a lazy. Okay, and if it's man coverage, he'll run it all through for the slant. But he's reading the three, the three pieces of grass. He's going to go high grass. Low grass, medium grass. High grass, low grass, medium grass. And so within about 15 minutes, I've put in two of our 13 plays, or three of our 13 plays. So hey, listen, this is a little bit about install. If you'd like to hear a little bit more about this kind of stuff, you know, let me know down in the comments down below. You know, like the video, share it to your buddies, and as always, spin it to win. Hey,